Good evening everyone who is watching us. The Health Wave on Radio Live is back. I'm Victoria Baraev and happy to welcome everyone who is joining us tonight, who is joining us right now. So the topic of our presentation today is going to be very educational. It's all about lymphatic system for those who didn't see our announcement. And uh, to talk about it, we are very fortunate we were very fortunate to invite a special guest, Julie Mills. She is uh, the lymphatic um, specialist who owns um, the Body of Health. Body right? of Health and the Lymph Clinic. And yes. the Lymph Clinic mm -hmm. in Snellville. Yes. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Thank you, Julie. Um, the phone number in the studio, in case you would like to call with a question, is 770-727-0777. You can also write to us to the studio on our Facebook page, um, or you can write to us on our website at radio uh, radiolive.online. And before we begin, I'd like to announce a, a special drawing that's going to take place today. If you just joined <clears throat> the live video right now, you have a chance to say hi to us, write something, just to acknowledge that you're here. And then towards the end of the show, you have to stay on the show for, for the entire time to, to win the drawing. Towards the end, we're going to draw a one-hour mas lymphatic massage therapy. And uh, the first 15 people who said hi will have a chance to win. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 2014, the year 2014, there was a major scientific um, discovery made. And you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, a scientist by the name Kari Aletalo, who had studied lymphatic system for over 20 years, decided to draw a more detailed map of the lymphatic system. So he knew, just like the rest of the scientific world, he, was, um, he knew this wisdom that you know, existed there for over 300 years, that lymphatic vessels, lymphatic circulation actually, does not go into the brain. Right, so it stops at the little, it doesn't go into the brain. So um, he decided to do an experiment just to, you know, have a more clear picture about this whole lymphatic system because it's very complex. What he did, he used uh, genetically modified mice for that purpose who were given a gene of a special type glowing, you know, a jellyfish that glowed. Um, what he did, uh, he used a special lighting, and in that special lighting, with the presence of this special lighting, these mice uh, showed lymphatic vessels, you know, they, they glowed, basically. And uh, what they found out was truly remarkable, and truly it was uh, such a remarkable discovery that they couldn't believe it, they had to repeat the experiment. But the discovery was this, these mice, glowed in the dark and they glowed in their head so the discovery was that lymphatic blood like lymphatic vessels and lymphatic circulation penetrates the brain so in the 21st century to have such a major discovery in something like basic anatomy was truly truly remarkable very rare you know that something like this happens nowadays but this fact I brought up only because so I can so I can um, again once again accentuate the fact that lymphatic system among all the 11 systems right it's probably one of the most powerful but at the same time one of the least understood and one of the least known about so we're still trying to discover all of the secrets about lymphatic system and yet we don't know much about it and we don't even realize that by harming it, we create, we invite so much disaster into our health that, you know, it's really hard to deal with. And that's why we invited Julie to help us shed light on this, uh, you know, lymphatic system problems and, you know, how it's connected with immunity. 
so that we can be more educated. We're fortunate to have this one hour education session. Thank you so much, Julie. Well, I hope I can answer most of your questions. Well, I'm sure you can because I know you. You're such a great specialist. Julie and I have known each other for quite some time. Yeah. And I know that you're truly a wonderful uh, therapist. You, you really love what you do. You know your topic. But I also know that you didn't always do that. Right. Um, can you tell us the story behind it? Why did you decide to become a lymphatic specialist? It sort of fell in my lap because of circumstances in my life. Um, my late husband did have brain tumors, and one of the therapies that we incorporated in his treatments was lymphatic therapies, and I had no idea what that was. And um, come to find out that it is your immune mm -hmm. function, and we were trying to build up his immune so he could tolerate medications much better. So um, that's kind of how I fell into it. And then um, once I learned about it and realized the importance of it, I, you, couldn't, you couldn't shut me up. I kept t telling everyone about it and I wanted to help as many people as I could with their lymphatic system because it is something that's just not well known out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for about 10 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, and you, you're happy with the, you know, the, your choice? Oh my gosh, yes. I meet the most fabulous people, people that haven't gotten answers, and then sometimes it's just a matter of opening a new pathway for the lymph to flow, and then it gives them back their quality of life. It's just amazing. That's amazing. I also know that you've authored a book. Yes. Which is talked about on your website. <laughs> Um, could you tell us more about it? Well, I brought you one. So, oh, wow. Yes. I guess it's I'm called um, Here's the Deal About Cancer. Mm -hmm. And it's really basically my journey um, through it, uh, through a caregiver's eyes, and what we've discovered all along the way. So, even from diagnosis and what to do with that first doctor's visit to um, you know, making decisions about incorporating alternative therapies as well as um, conventional therapies. There are a lot of questions that you need to ask your doctor. So at the end of each chapter, it says um, there's a little checklist. And the, it, I don't know if you all can see this or not, but there's little check marks here. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's a summary of what we've talked about. And um, it's, a, it's a quick go-to on what to, questions you need to ask or things you need to think about. Um, in the different stages of going through um, the, the cancer journey. But it also, another great thing is that it teaches you how to integrate therapies because there's not one answer. Mm -hmm. You've got to have help from both conventional and um, alternative world. A lot of it is diet-based. But um, it's about how do you do that and how do you talk to your doctor about it. And that's what you chose, uh, you and your husband chose to do, combine the two. Combine the two. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you have brain tumors, they're very aggressive and it affects mm -hmm. the entire body. Mm -hmm. So you definitely need heavy duty medications, but you also have to build up your immune, immune function, function so that you can exactly. tolerate those medications. And he did so well. He was only given about two years to live. And he lived eight and a half, and they were very good Whoa. quality of life years. So we learned a lot during that journey. And I put it all in a book, and, and hopefully it will help others um, with a better quality of life. Well, thank you so much. This is such a wonderful gift. I promise I will read it from top to the bottom. I hope you do. And I would like, uh, I'd like to ask you to autograph it for me <laughs> okay. after the show. But let's move on. Let's talk more about lymphatic system. You know, of all the systems, like we know there is 11, right? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we all talk about blood circulation, blood sugar, blood pressure, blood mm -hmm. cholesterol, you know, acid and alkaline concepts, uh, how much protein do we need? You know, we're all concerned about it. But rarely that we ask, what is this lymph node doing here? <laughs> for right. example, mm -hmm. or, you know, what do we need to know about lymphatic system? Mm -hmm. So let's just begin by talking about what lymph is. Um, I'm just <laughs> going to keep it really simple. Um, so you're talking about these different systems. So you do have the cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, and you have a lymphatic system. It's got its own capillaries and vessels and lymph nodes, and, um, but it doesn't have its own pump. Mm -hmm. But the main, the main thing it does is, um, two main things, would be anything your cells don't use goes into the lymphatic system, mm -hmm. and also larger proteins that the um, blood capillaries cannot pick up goes into the lymphatic system. 
And um, these are clear vessels located at the level of skin. Mm -hmm. So um, literally, uh, if you're ever cut, um, then you've, you've disrupted your lymphatic system. Um, but lymph, lymph vessels grow back, mm -hmm. but lymph nodes do not. They do not. They do not. And sometimes they, your lymph vessels will reroute um, to another node, and sometimes it's just too much capacity and it's not able to do that. But the bottom line of what you're saying is the lymphatic system's job is to take away the toxins and the bacteria and the, um, mm -hmm. and the infections and the swelling and things like that. Um, and when it doesn't work, it wreaks havoc. So it's just like a garbage bag that needs to be cleaned out Absolutely. every day. Yes. You know, just like we take garbage out at home, mm -hmm. you know, and we, we really care about doing that. Right. So I guess we don't even think that there's the same in our own body that yes. we have to do. Most people um, think that our garbage system is our colon. Mm -hmm. And actually, the colon is, is where we absorb nutrients, and that's a very important system, Correct. right? So, um, but it's actually your lymphatic system that's the garbage, that's the garbage the, disposal. The, the, the garbage <laughs> disposal, yeah. exactly. So, um, I'm talking about lymph vessels. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they are not the same as blood vessels, right? Right. But we can see blood vessels, even at the level of the skin. Mm -hmm. So, you're saying that lymph is located right beneath the skin, correct? Right. So, we don't we don't ever see lymphatic vessels. No, they're correct? clear vessels. They're clear actually. Vessels. So when you were talking about the study where they gave the um, the, the glowing mind. dye right. in in the mouse, it's because those vessels are clear. You cannot see them unless you do correct. some type of dye. Yes, these vessels also are very different because they don't have an opening on each end like a blood vessel. Mm -hmm. They have openings all along the vessel. And then they and they open up like little fish gills. Oh, interesting. They have little filaments that attach to the derma of the skin. So when you move skin, you move tissue. It's very light. You move lymph. That's wow. why exercise is so important because it helps move lymph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What about lymph nodes? What what is their function? So a lymph node, you have major dumping stations. You have lymph nodes everywhere. Mm -hmm. They're all over the body, but you have major dumping stations, mm -hmm. and that would be the neck, the under the arms called the axillaries, and at the crease of the leg is called the inguinals. Mm -hmm. um, and what they do is it, they look like turkey basters, basic, basically, and they, mm -hmm. they pump out and they refill, and they pump out and they refill. And what's inside of the lymph nodes are um, your white blood cells and also um, lymphocytes that help break down any kind of toxins that have gotten in there. So mm -hmm. that they, have, they, they serve a huge function, but they don't have their own pump. And that's why they're located where your joints are, so, so that you can, you can actually pump. Right. And again, exercise. why exercise is so important. How interesting, Keith. Our yeah. body is so smart, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, how about people who you know, so many people who have cancers, they go through the surgery and their lymph nodes are removed. Yes. So what takes on, is anything taking on the function of lymph nodes in the body? Um, sometimes your body will, like I, I think I was mentioning just a second ago, it will, I, I call it rerouting. Um, mm -hmm. lymph, your, your lymph goes in a certain direction. It'll flow um, uh, to your major dumping stations. So if you use your navel as your reference point and you make a line all the way down from the top of your head down to your toes mm -hmm. and then also if you go all the way across right at your navel and cut your body in half then that'll make you, you get into two into four quadrants right? Just right four areas and that's your lymph flow it'll go up to your arm from above the navel and it'll go up to the other arm, and then it'll go down to the leg on, on one side below the navel, and then to mm -hmm. the other leg. And then the arm goes up, and the legs go up. So um, those, those are your major stations and where they are. So if you had something removed on one side, let's say your left side, mm -hmm. your axillary, then what we would do as therapists is help that lymph learn to go over the watershed to I the good, good arm so it will have more of a chance to take on the capacity of the fluid. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds very logical. I hope that wasn't too complicated. <laughs> no, no, no. This was very clear. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. So where's the lymphatic fluid made in the body? 
Um, but it's made up of something, so it's not really like made in in the bone marrow like like blood. Right. Um, it's it's kind of what blood floats in, um, mm -hmm. and it's enzymes and water and proteins and amino acids and toxins. It's just sort of floating in this fluid. It's not really, you know, made in a specific place. Mm -hmm. But it's there. It's, it's there. It's just there. It's just mm -hmm. there, and so it's called, we're born with it. it. Yes, and it's called interstitial fluid. And once this fluid get, gets into the lymph vessels, when it opens up with that little fish gill, like I was telling mm -hmm. you, then it becomes lymph. So interstitial fluid and lymph are one and the same. Oh, I see. Yes. So if it's inside the lymphatic vessel, then it's lymph. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So of um, lymphatic si lymph, you mm -hmm. know, m uh, creates this lymphatic system, right? Mm -hmm. This whole system with lymph nodes and vessels and... and uh, we have spleen and we have right. some other organs, right, mm -hmm. um, th that create this whole lymphatic system. How does this system interact with the other, with the rest of like 10 other systems? Maybe you don't have to uh, list all of the interactions with every system, but just in general, how does it interact with other systems? You know, actually it's mostly um, connected with the um, cardiovascular system mm -hmm. is, is the main thing because once it's in the lymph nodes and it's broken down, this is so cool, it goes to a place called the cisterna chile, mm -hmm. and that's here in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. Then it goes up the thoracic duct, and it connects with the, um, the main vein in the heart. And then it mixes with the blood, mm -hmm. and then is then filtered through your liver, kidney, and bladder. So that's wow. how it all connects, which Everything is just amazing. Connected. Also, um, the lymph vessels are intertwined with your main veins and arteries. Mm -hmm. So your, your blood pressure makes a big difference. So those people that have venous insufficiencies or have um, low blood pressure are gonna see that their legs are gonna swell because there's not enough pressure to pump it back up. Interesting, yeah. very interesting. Um, just wanted to remind you, are listening to the Health Wave and uh, we have Julie Mills who specializes in uh, lymphatic system. She owns the Body of Health and Life in Snellville, and you can find Body of Health and Life by, by going to their website, bodyofhealthandlife.com, or you can call them at 678-344-0050 to book your appointment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you have a lot of therapists working there, correct? Yes, yes. Um, would you like for me to tell you a little bit more about the facility it, itself? We'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll, okay. Yeah, we'll get to the facility, definitely. Okay. I think we just had a question in the studio. Correct. Right? Yes, Rosa Leon asked, what are the symptoms of unhealthy lymphatic system? Yes. Okay. Good question. Um, you've got uh, two things going on. Um, one is if you've had node removal and then you're, you're beginning to... Um, see that, that you have excess swelling, or I'm um, not sure which one she's asking, but an unhealthy lymph system, if you have no node removal, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel very sluggish, you're gonna feel fatigued, mm -hmm. you're um, gonna feel dehydrated, mm -hmm. um, and that um, you're also, um, uh, when you urinate, it's going to have a smaller, I mean smaller, a stronger odor to it, um, and, um, like body order, the, order. yes, mm -hmm. and when you urinate, it has a stronger smell oh, to okay. it, and um, just that petite feeling. Mm -hmm. So yeah, wow. So a, a healthy yeah. person that hasn't had node removal can certainly come and get lymphatic therapies, so that um, we can just get a handle on getting everything up and moving again. A lot of times, if you have systemic inflammation and you have issues with your lymph. Um, uh, getting lymphatic therapies will help get it moving and, and keep you healthy. So what are some of the diseases that are associated with, you know, lymph problems? Autoimmune diseases um, is one which would and be... we have so many. Of yes, them. like fibromyalgia mm -hmm. and lupus and um, MS. Mm -hmm. Those are um, some good examples. Uh, what about thyroid? Uh, thyroid is not, you're not going to feel it as much in the lymph. It does mm -hmm. affect the lymph because mm -hmm. you know, there is a, a dysfunction there. But, but just through the years, I have found that the lymphatic system takes it on pretty well on, on the thyroid. But, um, of course, uh, diabetes would be one that would affect the lymph, um, mm -hmm. venous insufficiency, 
and of course um, cancer treatments that actually remove when you have node removal. Um, you can be born with primary lymphedema and that usually shows up um, uh, with puberty. So you just said this term, lymphedema. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain what it is? Lymphedema is when the lymphatic system is impaired in some way and it's not able to, um, to process the fluid. We call lymph actually the, the waters of the body. So picture if um, uh, there was a bridge that was down mm -hmm. or, or, or a dam that broke. Um, there's there's going to be pooling of fluids in certain areas. This is not an edema issue. This is not a water retention issue. Mm -hmm. This is a lymphatic issue. So you treat it very, very differently. I see. So it's a problem with the lymphatic circulation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Called lymphedema. What yeah. are some other diagnoses, diseases that, you know, can be called lymphatic problem? Um, I think we pretty much covered them. Um, Overall, just our, our toxic American way, mm -hmm. unfortunately, um, we're a fast-paced um, country and um, we want everything yesterday. Right. So we don't do basic things to keep ourselves healthy and help the, that immune function, help the lymphatic system, and, and a lot of it has to do with what you put in your body. Correct. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, there is one more question in the studio, please. Yes. Yes, we have one more question, and the same person asked, um, would skin problems like acne, eczema, or sensitivities be a part of lymphatic problems? Yes, that, that's going to be, um, it's really not the lymphatic problem, it's that your body, body's getting toxic and it's overloading the lymphatics. So getting lymph therapies would definitely help with acne and um, eczema and, and different skin issues. But the bottom line is that that's your way, your body's way of telling you, hey, there's something else going on, which could be, you know, too much acidity in the body. Toxic um, overload. Yeah, toxic overload. That's basically it. Especially yeah. that lymph is uh, underlying the skin, basically, right? Right. Next to the skin. Right. So I would assume that it affects the skin health as well. It does. Absolutely. Yes. Um, Julie, I wanted to ask, well, first of all, I wanted to remind, Please say hi to us so we can uh, do a drawing of, for this wonderful one hour massage gift certificate. So I'm really, really hoping that people are saying hi to us. Um, great, so at the end we can do a drawing. Um, Julie, you know this big question, you just mentioned about inflammation in the body. Right. right? So mm -hmm. lymphatic circulation, lymph is so connected to inflammation. Yes. How can you explain to us what are some of the manifestations that there is inflammation in the body? How does it show itself in the lymphatic circulation or what, what are the lymphatic problems that we get when we have inflammation? One of the big um, things that lymph does is take the, the larger proteins out of the, the body that can't get into the, um, the blood system. So when you start swelling, it can be swelling in the hands, it could be swelling in the, in the ankles, it could be um, uh, systemic swelling, which means it's, it's all over, um, where you just feel like you're just puffy. But then um, you feel that this is water retention. Yes, you feel like it's water retention. And it could very well be, but when it is not treated, if it's not moved out of the tissue, mm -hmm. those proteins settle in the tissues and they become gel-like. They're um, they're thickened and um, then you become uh, you start feeling like you've got heavy limbs a lot of people come to me and say that my legs feel like they're tree trunks mm -hmm. and so um, that's that's too many proteins are accumulating in the tissues and we have to get that lymphatics moving okay so let's stop right here you just said proteins mm -hmm. what kind of proteins where do they come from your body makes them mm -hmm. so they're not proteins that you would um, necessarily take in in, in your diet mm -hmm. but it's what your body makes Mm -hmm. okay. And your body makes proteins. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about, uh, is it affected somehow by the proteins that we consume? Or it has nothing to do with that type of protein? Not really. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be more of the um, amino acids and the proteins and the chains that your body produces to, or as those building blocks. And um, yeah, so reducing your, your intake of um, animal foods is really not going to make that big a difference, but reducing your intake of inflammatory foods would, 
i.e. sometimes animal foods are inflammatory. Mm -hmm. I mean, an animal Correct. based. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, so what really causes the lymphatic disorders? Is it something, um, you know, that you can find something common in many things that really, you know, affects the lymph or there are different lymphatic disorders that are affected by different things? Yeah, sometimes, you know, you don't know which comes first, the, the chicken or the egg, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so what I have found through the years is um, stress has a huge, huge impact. impact. Um, when people say, you know, uh, I can handle the stress. Well, a lot of times you can handle the stress up here and think things through, but not handle the stress as much inside the body and when you're stressed it's it's a combustion that's going on and that right. combustion creates toxins which then overload the lymphatic system and then lowers your immune function and then you're more susceptible to an autoimmune issue does that make sense that makes so sense. it's our lifestyle mm -hmm. um, as far as lymphedema is concerned that is a disease that's either inherited or is an impairment to the lymphatic system through surgery um, or um, injury mm -hmm. of some sort. So are lymphatic problems curable? No. Um, a lot of times they are not. If it is due to an autoimmune disorder, um, that is something that you have to maintain. Um, you can maintain it 90% through lifestyle mm -hmm. and what you eat. And then lymphedema is not curable. Um, but you can maintain it through compression garments, finding a great therapist that's going to keep you on track, mm -hmm. and um, through your diet as well. Wow, well, you know, it's, it's, it's <laughs> a continuation. continuation. Yeah, right. it's a continuation of care, and it's something that you get tired of it. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, will this leg ever go down? And yes, it will. Well, now knowing that, we especially have to be really, you know concerned about it and you know yeah. to learn more about lymphatic circulation and Absolutely. lymph so we can prevent getting the problems. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about body of health. Okay. Um, I know that primarily you deal with people who have lymphatic problems yes. at the body of health. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us more about what you offer and how you treat these people? So body of health is um, my little brainchild. Mm -hmm. um, I had a vision that I wanted a standalone therapeutic massage clinic and I wanted it to um, have professionals that were, were well trained mm -hmm. and um, we specialize in lymphatic therapies but that doesn't mean that's the only thing we do but in specializing with, um, with um, lymphatics I also uh, open the door for um, oncology massage so that um, people that have had mastectomies or um, any type of um, uh, cancer-related surgeries could be safe coming to us as we help them heal. Mm -hmm. So um, Body of Health is a therapeutic massage clinic and, and we really specialize in um, chronic pain and um, anything to do with the lymphatic system. Excellent. By the way, I've been there. It's a wonderful place, wonderful facility. I recommend it personally. I recommend anyone mm -hmm. uh, to visit it. You know, if you live in Atlanta or if you come visit Atlanta, this could be one of the side scenes, you know, to come and get a massage yeah. <laughs> from the body of health. Definitely can be helpful for anyone mm -hmm. uh, as a preventative method or just, you know, to, as a, um, you know, to cure uh, any lymphatic problems that yes. you might have. Mm -hmm. um, well, let's <clears throat> really move on and I'm really curious about how lymph is connected with cancer because many mm -hmm. people are concerned. Many people have uh, wrote to me personally asking this question and wanted me to address this with you. Okay. Um, so, I'm, I'm trying to think of how to begin. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I know, it's a very general question I'm asking, uh, but let's just begin with the basics, cancer and lymph. Okay. You know. So, um, the lymph's job, remember, is to take up anything the cells don't use and to take away any kind of disease. Mm -hmm. So you have natural killer cells that are out there just churning and burning, trying to get, trying to fight the cancer. Correct. And so that's gonna go into your lymphatic system. So the, one of the ways that they can um, stage the lymph is um, to see if it's gone to your lymph node, mm -hmm. right? Uh, well, it did what it's supposed to do. It, it you know, took it up and it went to the node. 
that means that it's it's more susceptible to go into the, the blood stream and become um, might metastasize somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So that really helps the doctors know what type of medications to use in the future. Now, a lot of people ask me, can I move the cancer by doing lymph drainage or oncology massage? Mm -hmm. Very good question, very good concern. The answer is no, I cannot move your cancer. That is biologically impossible. Like I said, the lymph system did what it was supposed to do. It took it up. It's a one-way system. So I cannot move it all over the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. You mean spread the cancer spread, by yeah. moving lymph. Right. That's what you mean. Right. I uh -huh. cannot do it. It is not <clears throat> biologically possible to do that. Mm -hmm. So, but you do have to go to a trained professional that does lymphatic drainage and they're certified. Do not go to just your regular massage therapist and think that that's going to be okay. <laughs> we want to make sure that you're going to be safe because because if you do too much body work, mm -hmm. then it'll make you just feel bad. So you don't want to do that. Well, let me ask you this. Um, oftentimes in the macrobiotic philosophy, in the macrobiotic treatment, right? Mm -hmm. We recommend for people to move their lymph by doing what's called a body wrap. Yes. So you, dry brushing? It's not dry brushing. You take a cotton cloth, you fold it in four, mm -hmm. and then you dip it in hot water, and then you start rubbing yourself all over your body. Everything moves towards the heart, just like you explained, all yes. the lymphatic circulation. And what's amazing about it, every time you do that, and it's recommended to do after the shower, mm -hmm. always, in the morning and at night, or just in the morning or at night. And then every time you do that, the water in your bowl, in your basin, gets really dark. So even though you take a shower, it's still, and it's, you know, it's still pulling out toxins, as we understand. Yes. So what do you think about that? We oh, recommend it to wonderful. every cancer patient, to everybody. Yes. You know? Absolutely, not, not and that's the thing. That's the thing with the book, and that's the thing with Body of Health, and what you're what you're talking about. It's all preventative. Just don't wait to get cancer. You know, you try to prevent it, and mm -hmm. by stimulating the lymphatic system, before, during, after, whatever, it you can never do it too much. It's oh wow! Absolutely mm -hmm. recommended. I love that. Yes. I'm gonna have to steal that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, I recommend it to everyone, and once you do that, especially with me when I was in early stages, you know, of my life, and I was very ill, and when I came to this li healthy lifestyle, I had to religiously do my body wrap to, to have my lymph move, mm -hmm. because it, it works, it really works. It After one month of doing that, you truly, you just like, you transform into something really, really miraculous. <laughs> you know, your skin glows, and you just, you look great, you feel awesome feel so much energy and every time you do that that water turns dark and cloudy yeah it doesn't lie Isn't it amazing yeah it doesn't lie yeah for sure uh so talking about cancer lymph i think we can make a triangle of cancer lymph and immunity yes right mm -hmm. so how um what lymph does for the immunity how does it help build it Oh my goodness. You have to remember your lymphatic system is a very delicate system, mm -hmm. but it is an extremely powerful one. And so um, the way that, that, that the lymph is your immune is that you've got to keep the pathways open. You've got to give it, um, you've got to keep the lymph nodes empty. So again, it's, it's a lifestyle. So you're talking exercise because the lymph does not have its own pump and it needs it, mm -hmm. and you're talking um, what you put in your body, so anti-inflammatory foods and things that aren't going to clog it up. So if you look at it this way, um, my late husband was a meat and potatoes kind of guy. You mm -hmm. could <laughs> do anything <laughs> about it. drive throughs and, and the whole bit. And um, so when we finally got onto a healthy diet, the reason, the, the thing that, that got him to do it finally is that Look, you're, you get all of these things and you're putting them in your body and you're, you're diverting your lymphatic system, your immune function, mm -hmm. from doing what it needs to do, which is to um, fight the cancer. Mm -hmm. So why not get something healthy in the body so that, it, um, so that, that then the immune function can fight the cancer? Correct. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Oh, yeah. And, and water. Water, 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 water. you got to have your water. So logically, we've come to this next question about nutrition for healthy lymph. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to keep it at the anti-inflammatory anti yes. you know, eating. What would it be? 
So let's talk more about nutrition for healthy limbs. Um, it would be no um, processed foods. Mm -hmm. um, you don't reading labels is really important. So I know we're a fast-paced um, society, and and you're saying that's just unrealistic because I've got kids and I got to get them to soccer and I've got to get them to dance and I've got to you know it's just go go go. So prepping your food ahead of time, getting a, a plant-based diet. Um, you can use Ziploc bags are there. You got your coolers. Sure. Just think ahead. Uh, make a make a Sunday your prep day for the rest of the week and have things that you can cook ahead of time and just be able to grab out of the fridge like um, like your grains, like mm -hmm. your lentils, like um, things that, that are that are easy to do ahead of time that aren't going to lose their nutritional value. Of course. So do you just think ahead and, and have a really clean diet. So let's talk about a little bit more about uh, some of the foods that are really beneficial to clean out the lymph. Yeah. Um, believe it or not, lemon. Lemon. The yes. Citrus. Yes. Yes. Lemon yeah. is is very important for lymph. It really actually helps strengthen the lymph vessels themselves. Wow. Um, fermented foods are very good. Yes, very good they because are. they're so anti-inflammatory, and it just it's it's like it's um, uh, a cleanser for mm -hmm. the lymph. So um, I really high, highly recommend those for sure. And, the, and like learning how to make your own sauerkraut is yes. helpful. Once you make it, you can make enough for six months and you know, just benefit from it every day. Yeah, it gives know? a great little kick to anything you, you're sure. eating. Sure. Yeah. So anything fermented I think is great yeah. for the lymph as well as um, things like seaweed, you know, sea mm -hmm. vegetables, you know, this strange word, seaweed, but <laughs> <laughs> learn how to enjoy it because it's very beneficial for the lymphatic system. Any yes. citrus fruit, any leafy greens, and just, you know, really clean, clean, plant-based diet without the presence of uh, processed foods. And Victoria sure. introduced me to some, um, some seaweed salads, and I want you to know they are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we've done a few cooking classes together, yes. so this was great, um, definitely beneficial. Mm -hmm. Um, well, talking about lymph, 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 some of the foods are that would be anti-inflammatory are clearly plant-based. Right. Let's talk about oil. <clears throat> what do you think about oil for the lymph? As far as I know, it's, it's really clogging the lymphatic circulation, and the, just like the blood circulation. Absolutely. The cleaner you get, the better. So, um, you know, light on saturated fats. Um, even unsaturated fats can be, um, you know, sluggish. So mm -hmm. I would use oils more to flavor things instead of um, it being the base of sautéing and that kind of thing. Frying, frying. And in it. Oh, fried foods, absolutely not. Very, very not inflammatory. your best friend. No, no, absolutely, <laughs> it's not. So we just several times you mentioned, um, and uh, probably. We all know about it, we've heard about it before, even though we don't know much about lymph, but we've all, I guess, have heard that, this phrase that you mentioned, that the heart has a pump and lymph doesn't. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So how can we improve our lymphatic circulation? So one of the things I mentioned about the um, body rub. Body rub. Uh, dry brush. Dry also. brushing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a natural bristle brush and you go in the direction of lymph. Mm -hmm. Also a rebounder is fantastic. Um, like a trampoline? Yes, it's just a small trampoline. It fits in your house and you don't you don't leave the trampoline. You, you keep your feet on it and just bounce. And mm -hmm. every time you bounce, if you think about this, every time you bounce, you're moving skin, right? It just, it just every bit of your, your whole body just moves. So you don't have to just jump high. No, 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 no. do not the... jump, do not okay. jump. You just keep your feet on it and just bounce in about um, five to 10 minutes every day. And that is one of the best things for lymphatics. That and walking, walking is walking, very good. Exactly. Yeah. So I also know about two more things to improve lymphatic circulation. One of them is waking up early in the morning, like before seven o'clock really helps you get your lymph going because you wake up, you get up, and you get active and moving. If you sleep through by like not past, past nine o'clock or so, that really means that your lymphatic circulation gets clogged up. Um, yep. Another thing that I know we were taught in the macrobiotic schools, um, a big thing is chewing. When you chew, you activate oh. your lymphatic circulation. I did not know this. <laughs> yeah, so chewing really helps you get clear in your mind. It you know improves your lymphatic circulation, just like 
many other things, you know, you, you start thinking clearer, um, I mean, you get better digestion it and total better sense. lymphatic circulation. And wow. not many people know about it. Do not. Yes. Uh, how many times do you think you need to chew? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'm probably going to fail at this one. Um, 10 to 15? No. The minimum amount is 30. So you have to start at 30. Oh. Each, each, each bite, each, bite <laughs> each spoon, I would say, you have to chew on 30 times. Wow. And this is just to learn how to chew. I know people who really do it, um, bring the number up to 200 times. Oh my gosh, we need to times. slow down. It's my, my, I gotta slow down. Like yes, we do. We definitely need to slow down. We need to stop swallowing as we go and just, you know, uh, we all, I mean, we all are guilty. We just watch TV and use our computer and eat at the same time. Who thinks about chewing? You exactly. Know? But really doing it as an exercise. You don't have to chew every meal. You can just take either one meal a day, even like two meals a week would be still a big improvement. Wow. Just to sit down and practice chewing. Um, just in a quiet place where you don't have to run around, you don't have to do other things. You can sit down and spend your time looking at your food, you know, connecting with it. It would be a chewing. conscious effort. It would be a conscious, it is a conscious yeah. effort. Yeah. Yes, but learning how to do it um, really helps your health. Yeah. In, including lymphatic circulation. Can we chew a gum? Can it help? No. <laughs> that, doesn't work. that doesn't work. Good no, question. To, it's a good question, but the, the whole point of chewing is to break down the food in the mouth so that you can absorb nutrients from it. What kind of nutrients can you absorb from the chewing gum? <laughs> Maybe as an exercise for the lymphatic circulation. Yeah. Um, are there any other things that can help improve lymphatic circulation that you know of? Well, one of, well, I don't want to go off on a tangent. So, but even those are yeah. not. I mean, these are this is not small things. You know, well, we just talked about. You know. They. Another thing is, is when I was talking about the lymphatic system is, is, is so delicate but so powerful, so are simple things. Just one simple change. So Victoria was saying just, just chew your food, mm -hmm. right? I'm saying just drink your water, um, right. get, get a rebounder, go, go for a walk. Um, so, so make consistent changes and um, plan ahead and, and you can prevent a lot of um, issues down the road for sure. Um, can you talk more about the services that you offer at the Body of Health? I know you have so many different kinds yes. of so therapists. I've decided to um, expand our services for lymphedema. Mm -hmm. And so I created the Lymph Clinic, and that is specifically um, designed to treat lymphedema. And how you do that is with um, uh, complex decon decongestive therapy, which is layers of bandaging, mm -hmm. um, and then exercise, education, all of, all of that. Um, that is something that your insurance will cover. And uh, we have an occupational therapist and an occupational therapist assistant. Um, and then we also have our insurance specialist that will check and see what is covered with your insurance. Mm -hmm. So when you are in the acute phases of lymphedema and you need the wrapping, it's it's a uh, everyday type thing. Um, that's what that facility does. The other thing that we that I have incorporated is the garment shop. And the garment shop is designed to provide compression garments for lymphedema and for any other lymph ther issues. Mm -hmm. So if you've had um, plastic surgery recovery, um, we have garments for that. And then we also have the bandaging for the lymphedema. So, um, and any kind of donning devices to help get the, the, the um, compression on and off, and also skin care type things for lymphedema. Because once, I was telling you about, telling you about the proteins that mm -hmm. are in the tissue, so it's very important to have um, good skin care so those proteins um, don't irritate the skin. So, uh, it's all under one roof, um, which is, I think, fabulous. So, we have a body of health, therapeutic massage clinic. We've got the garment shop and we have the lymph clinic all under one roof so you can have the continuity of care in one place. So just to remind, the website for the Body of Health is <clears throat> bodyofhealthandlife.com mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> and then the phone number there is 678-344-0050. You just yeah. have to call and make an appointment. How do people um, 
find you? Do they get uh, referrals from their doctors? Or? Yes, for the lymph clinic, we need a referral from your doctor. Okay. And then um, when you call our insurance specialist, she'll double check and see what all was covered and co-pays and all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And then for body of health, if you need maintenance or if you have um, an, an autoimmune disorder and you do not get a um, actual diagnosis kind of thing, um, then you can go to come to Body of Health, and we have um, several therapists that can do the lymphatic drainage there. So what type of patients do you see the most with what type of uh, lymphatic problems? Is it lymphedema? Uh, yes. Immune diseases? Uh, we see uh, lymphedema the most. Mm -hmm. Lymphedema the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, are there any success stories that you can talk about? Oh, I love my patients. I love my patients so much. Um, That's what you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, we celebrate with um, simple things of, of getting an arm down enough so they can wear their bracelet, wow. you know, or um, I think mastectomies are more common because um, women are a little more open to alternative therapies. So doing scar therapies and helping them um, reroute the lymphatic system so that they have their range of motion back and they have their life back, they have their quality of life, um, they have reduced pain. Um, and getting them in the proper garments is key, and that, that really helps them be more compliant with what um, you know lies ahead and how to maintain the, the lymph issues. Also with the legs, oh my goodness, I have so much fun with them because um, we, we work on range of motion. So I had this um, one client that couldn't get into a sports car mm -hmm. and um, uh, due to lymph node removal and, and whatnot with his, with his, um, with his lymph nodes, and we worked and worked with them, got them in different garments, and um, did, did therapies for a couple of months, and he drove up in his sports car. Wow. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. He probably excited. celebrated with the entire office. Oh, we did, we did, it was great. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, you just gotta be consistent, and we're there to help you, we're, we're to coach you, and to give you encouragement, and education on what to do when you have lymphedema. Wonderful. Yeah. So that you know where to turn to. You mm -hmm. know. Um, I think we have another question in the studio. Ah, uh, yes. Simon is asking about the drawing again. Is it the price drawing? Just remind the rules. Oh no no no. The price mm -hmm. drawing will be done in just a couple more minutes. The rules are you have to stay present with us until the mm -hmm. end of the show, and if you already said hi to us in the beginning you have a chance to win this gift certificate for one hour lymphatic drainage massage from the body of health and um, we will draw from the first 15 people who said hi to us um, we'll do it in just a second and before we go in to do that um, just wanted to ask Julie taking this opportunity what would you like to wish to our audience to all these people who are looking at us right now and listening to us on the website. What would I like to wish? To wish to them, yes. Uh, the quality of life. Um, hurt less, heal quicker, and have a better quality of life is our, our tagline, and I live it every single day. And um, so yes, quality of life, absolutely. How do you achieve this quality of life? <laughs> That's another <laughs> question. <laughs> you ask questions, you get educated, and know your body. Um, we're there to help answer those questions. Um, sometimes people think that massage therapy is just for fluff and buff right. and pampering. And a lot of times it is absolutely necessary. Helping with carpal tunnel, helping with um, you know, degenerative disc, and helping with um, edema and, and impaired lymphatic systems. I mean, you, you have to use manual therapy with your hands to take care of those things. All these massage gadgets are not going to do the job. No, they're not. You're going to have to go to professionals and get some answers. Absolutely. So now the time came and we can draw the winner for this one hour lymphatic drainage massage for the body of health. And I'm, I'm going to ask Julie to do that for me. So oh. please pull the number. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, number, number 15. 15. <laughs> do we have? 15? We don't have 15. We don't, so we don't have 15 people that, that say hi. So do we only okay, count the people who say hi, or anyone who asks question and stay present with us? Um, anyone who asks a question, you know, they anyone? basically, uh, you know, told us okay. that they're here with us. 
Let's pull another number. Okay, so far we have nine numbers. Okay. Okay, so anything two. over nine, I'll put back. <laughs> we still have 15 in, in here. Okay. Number six. Number six. Number six. Okay, let's see. This is Alla Kozlova. Alla Kozlova, congratulations. Um, <laughs> this is yours. I'm we very much to... looking forward to meeting you. Yes, me too, actually. <laughs> I know Alla, but you know, I would, I, you know, I'm very happy for her that she won this gift certificate, truly, because I know she needs it. Oh, so God. Alla, please send us your address and we can mail this gift certificate to you and you can call and make an appointment at the Body of Health in Snellville. Um, once again, congratulations. I'm very happy for you. And uh, Julie, I really appreciate you for my book. Oh, I so hope let's you tell, like it. Thank mm -hmm. you. I will, I will. Uh, please let's tell everybody where they can find it. They can find it on Amazon.com or mm -hmm. BarnesandNoble.com mm -hmm. and also in our office. So, oh, wow. So it's yeah. everywhere. It can be purchased on Amazon Kindle? Kindle, well. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. Yes. Oh, great. Wonderful. So uh, the name of the book is Here's the Deal About Cancer by Julie Mills, The Personal Story. And I'm very fortunate to own this book right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And in return, I'd love to present to you um, a mug from the radio life Yay. so that you can use it and Thank you. Um, think about this radio show and about um, the radio station, about you being here and giving such a wonderful speech and such wonderful education to us. I really hope everyone it. learned a lot about the lymphatic system and, and it's overlooked a lot in the medical community, not because of neglect, but just because it's not one of the main checkoff things, like you said, cholesterol or blood pressure or exactly. things like that. So uh, be proactive, um, be a attentive, and if you have any questions, just give us a call. I'll be happy to try to answer as much as I can about the lymphatic. You know, I have a question. When you feel that your lymph nodes under your neck mm -hmm. are swollen, right? what is the sign? What do you have to do? Um, basically, if they're, if they're swollen, then you've got too much backup in the, in the sinus in your sinuses and mm -hmm. so that's definitely going to affect your ears um, so get to a doctor and, and got to go to the doctor you yeah. know it's clearly a sign of uh, lymphatic system being overloaded absolutely you know, it's not able to keep up with the drainage with with being the garbage bag that's <laughs> right that's right, right. The garbage garbage bag is full so now you got to do something <laughs> great um, this was Julie Mills from the body of health um, a wonderful lymphatic drainage massage specialist and um, lymphatic specialist, the owner of Body of Health, and the author of this wonderful book, Here's the Deal About Cancer. Um, I hope everyone um, would be interested about in reading this book. I think it's going to be wonderful to do that. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be very educational too, not just a personal story. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, knowing Julie, I know how much work and love she puts into her, what she does. <laughs> so I'm sure the same is uh, projected into this book. I try to put it in layman's terms so mm -hmm. that people could understand it and it's something doable that you can do. Cancer is a big word and it has a big diagnosis and mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, what's on the internet is so confusing. So this really kind of helps you get down to the basics and navigate. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to read it. And this was about lymphatic system with Julie Mills and Victoria Barayev. Um, I wish you all to stay in good health and we're really looking forward to seeing you again next Thursday for our next exciting topic. Please stay on the wave of health. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>